Hi Aries, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're going to hop into the sign of Aries. Remember that the readings are in general, all of the messages will not resonate with everyone, okay? We're going to start off with messages from the Oracle deck and then we're going to get into the tarot. Messages for the sign of Aries, please and thank you. What message do you have for the sign of Aries? What message do you have for the sign of Aries? Focus. Focus. You may have some distractions going on, but focus. Keep your eye on the target. We have love at the bottom of the deck. You could have a... um. A relationship going on that you may need to focus on or focus on the love that you have within yourself okay things may be, you you may be feeling left out in the cold to a certain extent i don't know but just focus on the good things focus on the bright side okay more messages for our aries i'm going to clarify the focus card and then we'll move forward have the strength and courage to continue to move forward Clarify focus. We have the will of fortune. Yes, 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 yes. If you focus, focus on um, the destination, your target, hitting that mark, things will change in your favor, I feel. Don't accept anything less than you deserve. Okay? Clarify the will of fortune. Gain a new perspective. So whatever it is that you're looking for to come towards you or the outcome may look different. The magician, this is manifesting the things that you desire, having everything you need in order to manifest manifest something that you want. Aries, here you go. This is your energy also. Yeah, I feel like you made your mind up. You know what you want, but you have to stay focused on the outcome or on your goal. Clarify the hanging man. Maybe you feel... Okay, so if you were, you were feeling stuck or trapped in a situation, things are about to change. If you were if you were feeling trapped in a situation, it was all for you to gain a new perspective about what you were investing in. Yeah, it was time for you to probably walk away from, from some energies. That's no good for you. For you to take a leap of faith towards a brand new beginning. Follow your intuition. All right, let's move on. More for the sign of Aries. More messages for the sign of Aries, please, and thank you. What other messages do you have for the sign of Aries? I'll take it. The 12 cups, and maybe a soulmate connection around you. Oh, someone feels as if this person may not love them or care for them. Someone could have messed up in this, in this situation. But I feel like it's only an illusion. It's just stay focused. Yeah, love. Love is at the bottom of the deck over here. Oh, forgiveness. So, I left out in the code. I said something about, it, about that. Someone is feeling um, alone in a relationship, in a situation. And it's going to take some forgiveness. And this connection for things to thrive. Be open. Be open to a new beginning in this situation. Oh, I'm getting chills. Come on now, Aries. Stay focused. Stay focused on love. <laughs> on unconditional love. On I can, don't be don't get yourself in a situation or don't put yourself in a situation or don't stay in a situation where it's not bringing you happiness or it's detrimental to your well being. Okay, but if it's things that you you just need to forgive yourself or another for for in order for a situation to thrive why not do so no one's perfect let's move on <laughs> more messages for aries more messages for the sign of aries the nine of pentacles knowing your worth this is single this is independent uh nine of pentacles if someone feels as if you're not loved or you don't have enough to love yourself or why should you? I don't know what this is. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's, it's a lie. That's, that's, that is this. What I, what I heard, um, 
I can't remember. I, heard, I can't remember that saying. Lying from the lying from the pit of hell or something like that. That that ain't nothing but lie from the pit of hell, or something like that. Yes, it's a lie. It's a lie to cause confusion and conflict in your life. And it's time for you to build some protection around you. Pray for protection. All of that. All right, let's move on. Aries. More messages. Uh, I'm not I don't think I'm taking it. Give me a second. Alrighty. And I'm back. <laughs> More messages for the sign of Aries, please. Yeah, because someone doesn't want to show love. It was the Knight of uh, Wands at the bottom of the deck. Me that fell out in reverse. That's what I meant to say. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone doesn't want to show love. And then look what's, what comes out. The Four of Swords. Taking a break. Healing. Putting a pause on a situation, maybe. Uh, someone feels as if maybe they just want to be single and they don't really want to deal with the connection. I don't know, because maybe you're feeling stabbed in the back and betrayed. But someone also is tired of being alone, being single. But it's okay to find your, your independence. It's okay to find your independence. And in order to be yourself, yeah, you got to be yourself, not do things that other people want you to do. That's not just that's not being true to you. That's being deceptive. Um, excuse me. More messages for Aries. There you go. Rejecting those things that's not for you. Appreciating what you have. Taking a break. Read a book. I don't know. Clarify the two of cups. <laughs> Clarify the two of cups, please. The ace of swords and clip. The truth is, there's a connection here. The truth is, things can move forward, okay? But the truth is, also, there's some temptation involved in this situation. I don't know. Obsession. Overindulgence. Verbal abuse. I don't know. It's there. It's here. I don't know if it's you or the other person. Or it may be someone around you. Pray for protection. If I see the connection here, I mean, I don't, it may not be meant to be, but with the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups, it's a past life soulmate connection. It may be children involved. It may have been something from childhood. May, you may have known each other since children. I don't know. But, um, I don't need a test. What's the div um, divine? The Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the nine of pentacles, please. The eight of wands. You ready to give up? I see you. You want to give up. This was an upright, excuse me. You want to give up and push forward. Well, you feel like you can't push forward. Maybe the eight of I showed the eight of wands in reverse for a reason. You want you feel like you want it could be someone giving it to or you're looking for things that you truly deserve or you want that equal give and take, I should say. You want a brand new beginning. You want a new cycle. I almost, hold on, wait. Clarify the Four of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Could be cutting words. Someone's being logical. Someone has taken a break so they can think. The star card at the bottom of the deck, hope and faith. Renew hope and faith, maybe, becomes because someone realizes the feel, feelings and emotions that they have for another. And this could be long-term, okay? Could be involved in family. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. The Page of Cups. This could be offering or rejecting immature offers. Or this is someone worried about this new opportunity or being open to a new opportunity. Maybe with a masculine energy or just you worried. Clarify the chariot. The tower. A shakeup. A, a sudden shift. Where'd it go? Okay, come on now. I just seen it. A sudden shift, a shakeup. A breakdown. Maybe it was a breakdown in communication. Scorpio energy. It could be a Scorpio or Cancer involved. Clarify the tower. 
nine of swords worry or be some clarity and communication and uh, forgiveness could tower out some worry and doubt and bring some rebirth to the rebirth to this situation what's the ten of wands in reverse for Aries? the seven of cups illusions not seeing clearly um needing to choose the judgment card at the bottom of the deck, making decisions, being called to make a decision about the choices that you're making, about the options that's in your life. Um, maybe just need to see through illusions, time to walk away from something. Let's refocus. And I'm also going to read love that's at the bottom of the deck, and that is your reading. But here we that's the wrong book, wrong book, wrong book. Um, all right. What you focus on is what you pull to you. So your attention is that which is worthwhile. Concentrate on, on one desire. Direct your intent to one thing rather than being scattered in many directions. When your thoughts and actions are unfocused, it dilutes and diminishes your forward mo movement. It is much easier to gain results when you are concentrating on one path. Gather your inner resources and intensity and passion go forward and upward upward and you'll see result results this is also a card of spiritual transcendence and traveling to a higher realms so stay focused as you elevate your higher consciousness you are close to heavenly realms okay let's read love that's at the bottom of the deck here we go let's see she there. Love is all around you. Love is coming into your life. You are already more cherished than you possibly than you can possibly know. Indeed, you are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you when you stand in the center of it all. All is well, no matter what is happening around you. You know that you are loved and you are lovable. All I see is self-imposed imprisonment for some reason. Okay, someone is in shackles. It's a bondage. It's only it's only mental though. It's trying to release yourself from that. Um, you know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love. You are enough, just as you are. The creator is love, and in the depths of your soul, you are love. In matters of the heart and romance, all is healing or is already healed. In terms of self-love, your confidence and self-esteem are growing as you take time to cherish and care for yourself. Aries, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, have it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.